Welcome to this replay from the third battle of the best of five Russian National Championship semi-final RTK versus a VM. Uh, it's Arklanon and Gypsy playing as Chaos and Greenskins against Foolishman and Aragorn playing as Dwarves and Beastmen. It's currently 2-0 to RTK. The map is MP Crossroads, flat map, favours Cav. Say it's Favors Cav. We saw in the second battle. Faction without any cav. To the victory. Alt War Boss. Chaos Lord. Exalted Hero. To Chaos Feral Man's Cause. Chaos Knights of Lances. Chaos Boys Halberdiers. Aspiring Champions Forsaken. Another set of Aspiring Champions Forsaken. Forsaken. Aspiring Champions. Yes, warriors with halberdiers. Oh, Mogrub's Mangy Marauder. So that's going to be the first wave, it seems, for RTK. And we see Biggins, Squiggard, Black Orcs, Squiggard, Black Orcs, Shaman, Goblin Big Boss, Squiggard, Squiggard, Black Orcs, Biggins, the Broken Tusks mob. And all about ball boy biggins. And they're up against which I think this is gonna be a tight defensive unit. Um Force Beam and Hunger Erd, Chaos Spawn. Minotaurs with great weapons. Chaos Spawn. A Beast Lord. Chaos Spawn. Great Shame and Wild. Minotaurs. Minotaurs. Um where are the core balls? Oh. Break Shame and Wild Magic. Yeah, Two gobble. Is there only one gobble? I can only see one gobble. Anyway, shots coming in. They forced the uh, Mogrub's Mangy Marauders away. What I think uh, Jixi could have done there was position his, his unit out of range of the enemy crossbows and just fire some free shots into these Unger Spearmen. I mean, you're not getting much for your kills, but you're not losing troops. And force the opposition to move a little. So these rangers are getting some nice shots in on the Forsaken, and the Forsaken do not enjoy arrows going into them. A little in the way of armour. So it's been a good engagement for the VM boys so far. Getting the best of this missile. Well, the opponent's not got much in the way of missiles. But um, some free hits, basically. And we see the Forsaken, damaged Forsaken, going in on the Organ Spearmers. And we've got Stand Your Ground, Rune of Negation, and Ballistics Calibration have been, all been cast by the Rune Lord. So, obviously the Unger Spear are not going to hold for too long. But this looks like the flank where the real action's going, and... Mind Souls with great weapons. Great unit. And the Chaos Spawn, they're getting targeted by the Cap. But the Feral Man's Cause... I've gone down on the rangers with great weapons. The danger of Cuz being these rangers have got great weapons, which means they're good against large. But if, uh, if RTK can wrap up these two units on the flank quick, that's an entire flank exposed. Again, the rangers with great weapons, decent in melee. But they've been uh, held up, stopped from targeting. Saigor has been cast, just noticed. We've got uh, some Thunderous behind the lines there. Another unit of Thunderous. So, RTK, a couple of units at the back there, should be getting back in the battle. But RTK will be open to wrap around as quickly as possible. And, oh, okay. They're targeting the Beast Lord. Great target. Oh, here comes the rest of the flying squad from above. Oh, he's been not from pillar to post. If they can knock that Beast Lord out, well, they've not got a great amount of morale for the Beastman unit, so he's the better of the targets of the leaders, because if they can uh, destroy him, everything else has not got much. I would uh, be contemplating using at least one. Oh, yeah, yeah, he has one unit to go for the Bray Shaman. I would also be contemplating one unit going for the Saigo. As we see the wraparound continue, um, 
a lot of the missile units of the dwarves now have been caught up in this melee battle. And here comes the squiggard. You may as well go for the brave shaman. He's right next to it. You may as well target it. Again, we've got uh, some chaos knights. There. Could be choosing a target better at this point. Get on in on the action. Because both flanks have been wrapped around. This is looking like it's only going to go one way. All big ones again at the back. Should be getting in on the action. The Beast Lord looked like he was routing. But he's held up. And the Black Orcs. Oh, they're targeting the Rune Lord now. Okay. Here come the uh, recovering troops. I just don't think they've got a great deal left to um, deal with what the Chaos and Orcs are pushing out. The Goblin Big Boss in melee with the Rune Lord. And the Goblin Big Boss will lose that. The Squigard is in melee with the Thunderous, a good choice. That Beast Lord is still there. But we've seen a lot of units routing now. Ah, the momentum on this side though has, has run out. But Chaos still have a lot up their sleeve. Again, a couple of units there that would be better getting back in the battle. If nothing else, then chasing down these routing units, making sure they don't come back. As we're seeing the uh, Chaos Lord taking on the Master Engineer. And the Chaos Lord will win that. And we're seeing the uh, Dwarf and Beastman starting to shatter. So it's going to end very soon. It's a great battle. Great, great battle. RTK take this series 3 0. Well done. And they are now in the final. Not quite sure who they'll be facing. Uh, but we'll look forward to that in the uh, short future. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all soon.